Welcome back to part two of the Harbor Freight battery charger modification to do electrolysis. And this is what I've done. Seems to work well for me. I don't recommend you try this, but for entertainment and information purposes, this is what I've done. This is the circuit, the voltage divider circuit that I was talking about. Um, basically, we, we're pulling off 18 volts DC, running it through a resistor pulling off ground, running it through a resistor, and where those two resistors join, we're getting nine volts DC, roughly, maybe eight, eight and a half, somewhere in there. It's good enough for what we're doing. And we're tying that into a sense wire. This whole back plane is ground, this heat sink, which is where the actual ground for the cables come out. And that's where I've, I've tied in my ground wire. 18 volts DC, I'm pulling off this board, um, you may or may not be able to tell where I'm pulling it from, but basically I took a multimeter, probed around until I found 18 volts DC. And then the sense wire is this red wire coming off, and I just tied my, my 9 volts DC in on this sure stop with the other two wires. The other wire goes out for positive on the battery clamps right here, and sense wire, and then the wire I tied in for 9 volts DC. The Resistors are equal values as set on the sheet. I used one watt resistors. You could probably get by with a quarter watt. have no clue. I'm not recommending it. I used one watt and that's what I'm sticking with. Give me just a second and I'll plug it up and I'll show you how this specifically works. Alright, I got it all plugged up. It's not on. But it is plugged up. No bubbles. If I flip the switch with everything hooked up the way it is, it's still not going to work. What you have to do is either disconnect the cable or remove your piece, then put it back in. It works. Um, you can see the bubbling. Once it's on, it seems to be on. I'm not sure how that works. Why you have to actually put it in hot without a circuit being completed, I don't know, but that's how it goes. Thank you. Now I'm going to show you how to do electrolysis with this charger without even having to do the, the voltage divider mod. You shouldn't even have to crack this guy open if you want to do this. If you want to use this for electrolysis, you bought the extended warranty at Harbor Freight or something like that and don't want anybody to know you've ever been in it, this is the way to do it. Get you one of these guys. It's just a wall adapter. This one happens to be 12 volts. I think anything 12 to 9 volts would probably be more than enough. I mean, you might could get by with 12 or, or 13 or 15 volts. But then I bought one of these guys, which is out of focus. But it is basically just a, a breakout. You put your barrel plug in and it gives you screw terminals for each one of these wires and chargers on or it's plugged into the wall switches on still nothing switches off now see what I'm going to do is plug this adapter in to electric I try not to shock myself but then all you have to do is to make a connection, get it started and release. That's all it is. And we're in the off setting on my bypass mod. So you know we're not getting bubbles anymore. Nothing's going on. Touch. So so you can do this without even having to get into the charger. If I had it do over again, that's probably all I'd do, but I like a challenge and this is a successful solution to the challenge I had. So I hope you found this entertaining, somewhat educational. I hope you enjoy the video and have a good day.